Our next problem is the auto racing problem. Uh, at a race driving school, there are safety requirements. And these are the safety requirements. 18 years or older, good physical condition, 6 foot 7 inches tall, under 6 foot 7 inches tall, and under 295 pounds. Um, our first uh, requirement is we need to define our variables, write a system of inequalities to represent the height and weight, and then graph the system. And so let's go ahead and take a look at our page here. We're going to start by defining our variables. And we're going to say let h equal uh, the height. And let w equal the weight. And now we need to write a system of linear equations. And to do that, we're going to use the information from the chart. The chart says the person needs to be under 6 foot 7 inches tall, under 6 foot 7, which means that it's not equal to 6 foot 7 inches. If they're equal, then they cannot ride the race car. So how can we set that up? It's going to be h must be less than, not less than or equal to, 6 foot 7 inches. So we need to convert 6 foot 7 inches, uh, 7 inches, into inches so that we can have a single integer here. So how do we do that? We're going to multiply 6 by 12. 6 times 12 is 72. And then we're going to add the 7 inches. Right? So we'll get h is less than 79 inches. One inequality. Our second inequality is going to deal with the weight. And the weight, w, must be under 295 pounds. So is less than 295 pounds. So we have our two inequalities. They look pretty bare bone. Normally, we're accustomed to having two variables in one inequality and two variables in the other inequality. But in this case, we only have one and one. So we get something a bit unique here what we're going to have we're going to have our graph paper and I'm going to draw my y-axis and I'm going to draw my x-axis now my x-axis is going to be our h our y-axis is going to be our w our height and so the first inequality states that h <coughs> is less than 79. Right. How do we graph that? Well, it's popped up uh, here and there in, in uh, chapters past or subchapters past. And the way we do it is we're going to go to 79. So let's assume that this is h is going to be, ooh, let's say 79 is here. So let's say this is 100. Let's say that's 100 there on the height. So 79 would be right about here. And so since we have less than 79, we're going to draw a horizontal line that is dotted, not solid, dotted, meaning it does not include 79. Now the question is, is which side of the equ inequality do we draw, I mean, do we uh, shade in? And we're going to use our test point of 0, 0 right there. So how do we use a test point of 0, 0? Zero? Well, a 0 is going to be our h, and a 0 is going to be our w. And you'll see here in this inequality, we do not have a w. So all we can do is substitute in 0 for h, and we'll get 0 is less than 79. Is this a true statement or a false statement? It is true. So since it's true, we are going to shade in the test point, or the side that includes the test point. Right? And so this is the side that we are going to shade in. Now we're going to go and look at the second inequality. That's w is less than 95. w is the y-axis. And so let's assume that 295 is right here. Right? What are we going to do? We're going to draw a dotted line goes this way. And it's dotted because we have less than, not less than or equal to. And now we want to see which side do we shade. Do we shade the bottom or the top? 
and so we're going to go ahead and choose our test point h and w it's going to be 0 comma 0 we don't have a h in the inequality so we're just going to plug in 0 for w is less than 295 and that is a true statement it's true and since it's true, we're going to come back to our graph, and we're going to include the side that includes the test point of 0, 0. And so this is the portion that gets shaded. Now, what is the solution to the problem? The solution is this area here. And why is it that area there? It's because that's the overlap. And not only that, but it's impossible to have a negative height and it's also impossible to have a negative weight right so that's why it's only this box here all right now the next uh, part of the problem asks us to find a possible solution right and what is a possible solution well a possible solution is an x and i mean i'm sorry a h and w coordinate pair that exists inside of the shaded area so here we have 0 on the x and the y, here we have 79, here we have 0 on the y, and 295. So anywhere in the shaded area, uh, a possible h and w ordered pair that would fit in the shaded area would be maybe height of 50 and a weight of 150. Height of 50 would be right around here, and 150 would be right about there. So the point would exist in the shaded area. Uh, we now also have a second question. Name one possible solution. And I'm going to do my H is going to be 50. And my weight is going to be 150. Like that. So it's 50 inches, 150 pounds. Right? Is 50, 80 a solution? Well, let's go ahead. 180 a solution. Well, let's go back to our chart here, our graph. And 50 is here. 180, I'm sorry. Yeah, 180 would be right about here. And so that data point would be that point on the graph. And again, it is in the doubly shaded area, so it is a solution. Right? Is it a, a solution? I could say yes, because it exists in the doubly shaded area of the graph. Another way to say it is that yes, because it meets both of the uh, inequalities. Right. Coming back to here, it's true for this inequality here, and it's also true for that inequality there.